this is Alan, the Lonely Bookshelf. I'm here with a tag. And yeah, it's surprising. It's like the second tag in a week. But as I said, I usually don't do tags. This is the JFK tag. This guy. And uh, this is created by Very Literary Carrie, who does a, a lot of things uh, of John M. Kennedy. Let's just see if I can find a better picture of him. I actually haven't read this book. It was actually came out by Simon & Schuster and I bought it at a thrift store. And this one came out, let's see. Sorry about that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's actually co-written. It's uh, 2017. Haven't read that one yet. And if uh, many of y'all remember these Kennedy Half Dollars. I actually have two of them. I have some more somewhere. And there's like uh, Kennedy Half Dollars that came out. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, there was a guy. I was working at Albertsons. There was a guy that came in the store. And he paid for his groceries. And Kennedy Half Dollars. I mean, his groceries would be about $10. So he put... Kennedy half dollar ten dollars worth of Kennedy half dollars. So let's go on with the uh, the tag. Uh, and question number one: ten of us and one more. Rosen and Joe Senior had a boat called Ten of Us, and then Ted was born, so they had they called another boat uh, one more. So what uh, the book has large cast of characters? I went with. Oops, don't have these in order, sorry. I went with The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. First book in The Chronicles of Narnia is The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe, where you have the the two sons of Adam and the two daughters of Eve fighting the people there, and uh, along with Aslan, the lion, and um, where it's always winter and never Christmas. This it has a movie sticker on it. It says a major motion picture holiday 2005. It did not do good at the box office that year. The reason why it did not do good at the box office is because another movie came out that everybody wanted to see, and that movie was Harry Potter. The next time, the next year, another movie was made. I think it was a uh, Prince Caspian. If I recall. I'll look it up here. Or it might have been the Magician's Nephew. I'm not sure which one was the order of the uh, Chronicles of Narnia. The next one was a uh, book came, movie came out. It didn't do good, good either because the second uh, movie of Harry Potter came out. And so they just abandoned uh, the movies, which is uh, horrible. Prop number two, uh, P2109, what book has a heroin, heroin survival rescue story? Um, I was thinking about this and I can't recall any book that I've read that has a heroin rescue story. Well, let's go on. <clears throat> Addison's Disease. A book that deals with a disease or medical condition. That would be Nigel. And the book on hand, I cannot locate it. It's called uh, The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog. It's a series of true to life stories written by a child psychologist who worked with children who were traumatized by a certain event. And he said, he said that the children actually were suffering the same thing that soldiers were suffer in the war, the PTSD, post-traumatic stress and, uh, disorder. The title of the book is called The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog because that story dealt with the, the mother of this infant son who dropped her infant son off to her parents and fled. The, um... And then later on, the uh, 
the gr boy's grandmother dies. So the father didn't know how to raise children. He raised dogs. So he put the child in the cage with the dogs. And uh, he would feed the, the son, feed his grandson and clothe them, bathe them, stuff like that. But he wouldn't speak to him. And so when these boy went to the first grade, he acted like a dog. And so, uh, question number four. Camelot, real or magic dynasty? I need to read more about from that would be the Hasburgs. This book here, the Hasburgs to rule the world. This is by Basic Books by Martin Ratty. This book came out, and I bought this at a thrift store also because it's $32. And this book came out in 2020. It came out last year. And yeah, and you have the Hasberg family going on from the uh, and here's the family tree from the 10th century to the 14th, and then they go all the way and also to the 20th century. So yeah, the Hasbergs. I haven't read this one yet. Uh, question number five. High hopes. Frank Sinatra sang a uh, campaign song for John F. Kennedy called High Hopes. After the Kennedy was elected president, Frank Sinatra built a private landing strip at his house so President Kennedy come visit. President Kennedy was told not to associate with that type of people. So Frank Sinatra got upset and uh, got rid of Peter Lawford, who was in the Rat Pack, which all of them, the uh, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Joey Bishop, and Peter Lawford, that Rat Pack, and uh, all of them were involved with the Mafia, and so they got rid of Peter Lawford, replaced him with another person that was involved with the Mafia, and then that would be Johnny Carson. So the song, well, what would be my campaign song? <clears throat> my campaign song would be, K Sera, Sera, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. K Sera, Sera. Question number six, we choose to go to the moon. Uh, the last book is set in space. I don't, I never read any books set in space. Sorry about that. Question number seven, coconut shell that Kennedy used to write a message on when his Bo uh, PT-109 got hit. Uh, so he keeps it as a paperweight in his Oval Office. Uh, name something that, uh, you know, a memento that you have on your desk, and that would be, oh, get it here, Dusty, this. This is my grandfather's. It just shows a little clock. There's a lamp inside, which is missing, and it has a clock, and, uh, yeah, and the, uh, the driver used to have a little whip, his hand going down like this and this is pretty cool and I've always kept this I'm sure I don't drop it okay question number nine Peace Corps what book made you a better person besides the Bible um, I think that would be all Question number eight. What personal uh, political personal political person would you like to know more about? Well, I'm not really involved in scandals. I really don't care for them. Everybody is a uh, John Mark Kennedy half dollar. Excuse me. Um. Um. Every person. Um, when they get to power, as they say that power corrupts absolutely, and absolutely power corrupts. 
or something like that. I forgot how it went. Now, I really don't stay away from those type of books to read by read about those type of books because it's to me it's uh, everybody is human. Question number ten: Conspiracy. Thoughts on the JFK assassination. Okay, here we go. Michael Francis is a uh, former Capio in the Colombo crime family. And I say former because he's still alive and has a YouTube channel. And he was is mentioned in the, the movie uh, Goodfellas in which they go through the, uh, the bar of uh, this club and the person is naming people, and they name, they say, oh, this is Michael Francis. Well, Michael Francis was the Colombo family, the people that were there at the bar were the Casey family. Uh, Michael Francis went with his wife to the movies and said, oh, come on, honey, they make stuff up. And when that scene came up and his name was mentioned, he left. So, uh, yeah. So he said that the Mafia killed Kennedy. There was a uh, there was a guy in Dallas, Texas by the name of Joe Campisi. Joe Campisi was named the boss of the Dallas crime family. He was named boss by a guy in New Orleans. And I forgot forgot that his name. But yeah, he was the um he was the guy that ordered the hit on Kennedy, and I forgot his name, I'm sorry. And also, one of the members of the Alice Crime family took uh, his place in the meeting up in New York State, where all the the people, where all the mobsters, uh, bosses got arrested up in New York State, in that big meeting they had. So anyway, Joe Campisi has a restaurant called Campisi's. Egyptian restaurant where they served Italian food. His lieutenant was Jack Ruby. So, he can't get any, uh, well, yeah, yeah, the mafia killed Kennedy. Just like the mafia killed, uh, oh, what's that guy's name with uh, the Teamsters? I forgot his name. But anyway, the, uh, yeah, the Mafia killed Kennedy, and at the Mafia left Kennedy, they actually went to Richard Nixon as president, and they got uh, they got Nixon. They supported Nixon. Nixon also was supportive of the Mafia more than Kennedy was, and that and I said that to Michael Francis, the gentleman I just I mentioned earlier, and he said he shook his head yes. That's right. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. This is the JFK Tag, and y'all have a Merry Christmas.